At this facility on the outskirts of Kyiv, workers are making some of Ukraine's domestically produced unmanned aerial vehicles. The company, Warbirds of Ukraine, was founded in 2022 by a group of experienced reconnaissance pilots. Their drones are being used by the Ukrainian army on the front line. Now, employees are installing cutting-edge technology into these drones. Чьи дрони будут более разумнейши, за тем и будет какая-то часть победы в этой войне. Their flagship reconnaissance drone, the Galka, has undergone significant upgrades. У нас появился штучный интеллект. У нас появился компьютер на борту, который помогает летать летаку без GPS. Це дуже сильно допомагає літакам працювати в режимі подавлення ребу російською. Коли ми не маємо GPS, а ми дуже часто його не маємо, коли ми не маємо зв'язку, але дрон має влучити в ціль, точно в ціль. Each drone goes through rigorous testing before it's used on the battlefield. Змінилось все. Змінились камери, змінились батареї, змінився софт. Дуже багато відбулося змін в електроніці. When the company was founded in June 2022, it could only make three Galka drones per month. Now, Kovalchuk says that number has risen to 120 every month. Warbirds of Ukraine also produces other types of UAVs, including attack drones and long-distance kamikaze drones. У нас є ще навіть такі є, які долітають до Москви, але вони зараз в стадії R&D. The improvements come at a good time, as the conflict has recently been dubbed a war of drones. An increase in UAV attacks on Russia in recent weeks could mean a greater role for local producers. На початок війни у нас було лише 5-7 виробників. Сьогодні, щоб ви розуміли, їх 80. Всі українські виробники йдуть в смарт, в AI, в вдосконалення своїх літаків. This homegrown reconnaissance drone is made by Skytone. Like many other Ukrainian producers, the company is moving fast to modify and advance its fleet. Everything changed so rapidly that it's uh, impossible not to change our system. So we just expand our R&D department maybe four or five times bigger to have most modern internal processes, software, navigation, to make improvement in aerodynamics. So. Both Kovalchuk and Fjolkovsky say supply chain issues are a major challenge. They say foreign companies are not making enough parts to increase production. Now, Ukrainian manufacturers are making more components locally. Kovalchuk and the Warbirds of Ukraine say they hope these developments could help Ukraine become less dependent on military aid.